a triumphant conclusion. The third picture in the Apes reboot series was released nationwide on July 14, 2017, earning back its $150 million budget within its first two weekends. The narrative, penned by returning director Matt Reeves and Mark Baumbach, picks up two years after Dawn left off, where ape leader Caesar sets off on a quest into human territory to settle a personal score. The first two films in this updated trilogy were only appetizers for what will long be heralded as a landmark achievement in motion capture technology. Andy Serkis gives the performance of his career as the hardened chimpanzee leader, forced to seek vengeance after suffering a staggering loss. He motivates his troops by reiterating his species motto, Apes Together Strong. The visual effects by New Zealand's Weta Digital that bring the primate to life are utterly sublime. The facial expressions, physical mannerisms, and deep green eyes all evoke a truly emotional and human performance. If any mocap character is going to break the proverbial glass ceiling and score an Academy Award nomination, this is it. Karen Konoval returns as well to portray Caesar's trusted orangutan advisor Maurice, whose calm and measured perspective often helps rein in his leader's more brash decisions. Steve Zahn plays Bad Ape, a quirky hermit that Caesar's expedition picks up along the way. He has a few funny comic relief type moments, but they feel decidedly out of place in the otherwise serious film. But the implication of a talking ape not from Caesar's initial uprising is a big one, as it signals the possibility of an entire planet of the apes instead of just a small village outside San Francisco. The only real human character of note in war is Woody Harrelson as the villainous and uncompromising colonel, who doesn't hesitate to execute his own men when they show signs of disease. Echoing shades of Marlon Brando, he delivers a long and emotionally distant monologue about his son and the tough decisions he's made. Remarking on the pending war between apes, humans, and his own faction of the military, Harrelson punctuates his speech by stating, All of human history has come to this moment. It is a powerful scene and a real highlight of the 140-minute feature. Have you finally come to save your apes? I came for you. For me. The increasingly busy Michael Giacchino provides one of his best scores this decade, although Star Trek and Up, both from 2009, remain my favorite works from him. Blending driving strings, high-pitched woodwinds, heavy drums, soft pianos, and a chanting choir, Giacchino has composed a truly haunting score that occasionally feels almost ethereal and patriotic. It is a beautiful counterpart to the impeccable effects and flawless cinematography. Even without characters populating the frame, the environments alone are still stunning to see, from the lush redwood forest to the snow-covered mountains in the north. Giacchino opens the film with a particularly neat drums-only rendition of the 20th Century Fox fanfare, which then cuts to on-screen text that helps bring the audience up to speed on the events that came before. Even though each of these entries do stand on their own rather well, consistent themes and characters allow them to mesh together rather effectively. Living up to its title, the opening 10 minutes of War for Planet of the Apes showcases a vicious and violent woodland battle between human special forces and resilient apes dug into their redwood hideout. Gunfire, explosions, spears, and battle cries rupture the speakers with a loud and enveloping sound mix. This first chapter is one of the most impressive action scenes of any war movie and instantly elevates this picture above its 1970s era counterpart, Battle for the Planet of the Apes. The PG-13 rated picture does have some tonal and pacing issues towards the middle though, as it drastically shifts from a war movie to a prisoner of war movie. I didn't particularly care for a few of the more convenient plot twists either. After 49 years, though, these characters and stories are still impressive and consistently entertaining, even paying homage to earlier films with clever moments and dialogue references. A must-watch just for the terrifically well-realized motion capture effects, War for the Planet of the Apes is a thrilling example of why this trilogy is together strong. And here's what you had to say about it. Some called this the best yet, while others felt it was a downgrade. Your scores averaged to a 9 out of 10. I agree, I felt this film was awesome. That does it for this review, but if you'd like to watch more Movie Night, click or tap the thumbnails on the left. And don't forget to visit the Jog Wheel YouTube channel to see full episodes of the show, in addition to the other content I produce. My name is Jonathan Paula, thanks for watching. Have a good movie night.